everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Heat Seeker Outdoors. On today's episode, it's one of the funnest things I've ever had the chance to do or be a part of. Um, we're going to the Black Hills of South Dakota, uh, close to the Belfouche River, and we're chasing antelopes with horses. Uh, it's going to be a really fun episode, you're not going to want to miss it. all dialed in so there's no excuses hopefully I can get her done in the morning but uh, it's gonna be a good time so stick with us Gary you made it and oh, there God. is the cornhole king <laughs> <laughs> how you doing I'm doing great how, how are was, you how was the trip Gary it was good well good well we made it to three arrow outfitters and we're just riding around with Aspen. She's showing us some property. And tomorrow morning, antelope season opens. And she says that she's got some good ones on the property. She says her job is practically done and it's all up to me. And I say my job is practically done and it's all up to her. So I guess we'll uh, see who's at fault or see who the hero <laughs> is tomorrow, right? We'll see who's right. Okay. So 
You girls gonna get this done before we get wet or? Well, yeah. Okay, we're gonna give her a shot. So the hunting was awesome right from the beginning. First day we got out, uh, we were on multiple stalks on multiple antelope and it was just really fun, really uh, great experience. So we walked uh, stalking these antelope up and down these hills. We were, went over 19 miles in the first three days and needless to say, I think us boys from Indiana were wore out. So we're hunting out here, we've had so many you know multiple encounters um, you know we're just we can't get these bucks to want to play ball with us I'm not sure you know if it was time of year if it was you know the setup I mean the girls just even the girls couldn't believe what was going on you know we we would walk over a mile to get to the antelope just to get within a hundred yards and him get spooked but uh, finally at the end of day three we find a couple of bucks that we think are ready to play along with the script. Well, we're at the Three Arrow Outfitters, South Dakota. This is day three, opening day was Saturday. And we're at the foothills of the Black Hills. You can see them back here behind us. And as we drove down the road, we just seen several goats up over this hill. So but we thought we'd stop and fill you guys in on what was going on before we get at it. What do you think, Aspen? I think we're gonna get him. Okay, we're gonna go after him. Stick with us.
to do. Did I miss him? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Well, here we are. I haven't shot one yet, but we're getting ready to track this one. find the arrow after the kill. I can't wait. Oh. Switch sides. Well, 45. Yep, 45 yards. 45 yards and a nervous twitch, so I pulled a little bit to the right, but we're pretty confident we're gonna get him, so. Whew. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, how many miles? He's petering out down there. 4.1 miles. He just went through that dark patch. I think see? we're all tired. Oh, yep. How, how far? Dang it, man, I was hoping to hit him good. Crap. As you could tell by the shot, it wasn't very good. Definitely not one of my proudest moments, but uh, I found out I was torquing my bow. Anytime I got excited, I could target practice and I was dead on, no problem. So since then I've changed my grip so that won't happen anymore. But we looked for it for a day and a half, 98 degrees, it was miserable. And uh, didn't find anything. And it was, those, those things run so fast and so far, it's not like you could follow a blood trail. A long trip home after having to eat tag soup and all that, but lo and behold, four weeks later, Aspen sends me a picture of this, only it still had hair and stuff on it. They took care of it for me, so it was still a, it was a lot of fun, but I was super discouraged by the time I got home. I guess it was a success, but uh, it sure didn't feel like it when we left. South Dakota is a place that uh, just the beauty of it, the landscape, you know, all the wildlife that we were able to see there, uh, you know, the culture even, just the culture of the people there is something that I know that I'll never forget.
just even the hospitality of you know three arrows outfitters and rick was so interesting you know such an interesting character for sure um Lorraine, kind of like the mother figure for us out there and then aspen definitely knew what she was doing and uh she was the leader for sure Gary, uh, I know it wasn't a storybook ending or how maybe we thought it was going to be when we were on our way out there, but it's our ending now. So I look forward to many more with you. And uh, for everyone else, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Heat Seeker Outdoors. Mm -hmm.